is it going, viewers? Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, continuing my vacation in the wilds of Skyrim and trying to hunt down a fox. This video actually will show two locations. The first one being Dark Light Tower, a location I had wanted to do a video about for a little while. And now that I have my new Clear Clicks, or now semi-new Clear Clicks capture box, I can do a really good video about this location. And as an extra special bonus, I am showing you a second location that you can only really get to once you go through Dark Light Tower. I've tried to get to the second location by jumping over and climbing up mountains, and it's really difficult when all you can do is go through Dark Light Tower. Dark Light Tower is off the beaten path here. Um, you got to go through some nature, and I hear a bear somewhere. A bear, a bear. Where is the bear? And he's growling at me. He should be around here somewhere. There he is. Take him down. Bears, they can be really difficult at lower levels. But hey, they have claws, which are really good for our apothecary stuff. And pelts, which are good for leather. And now Dark Light Tower is kind of a rundown tower here. And it's right on the map here between the Lagarsh Burr Orc Camp and Crystal Drift Cave. And then it's right below the um, islands in the Riften area, which kind of is composed of all these other areas. And it's right kind of in the middle, but people tend to miss it. Now, if you look at the tower you see four sworn indications which is weird but let's get into the tower and start the adventure when you enter the tower the first thing you hear is some form of conflict by the gods i know this looks bad let me explain I called it home. Now I know that was a mistake. I am, or was part of a coven serving the Hag Ravens that live here. So was she. I didn't want to, but she attacked to try and keep me from leaving. I can't be a part of this place anymore. The things we do here, evil, evil things. No more! We were supposed to find a sacrifice. Human sacrifice. I told her I couldn't do it, and she attacked. I've done horrible things living here, but never taken an innocent life. I couldn't just find some person for them to kill. The initiation. My mother is going to become one of those things. I can't be a part of that. Gods, I can't run away from this. I have to stop her. I'm going up there to stop her. This cycle must end. I don't know what brought you here, but I could use your help if you're willing. Good. Follow me. We have to fight our way up. I don't think anyone else here is about to have a change of heart. Okay. Il Ilya is part of a coven of witches who were going to transform into hag ravens, and she got tired of it. What you want to do first is cast candlelight if you have it, because it's really dark. Next thing you don't want to do is go in, rushing in, and let Ilya dictate the speed. She will wait for you, and you should be able to search by casting candlelight, all the kind of nooks and crannies, and there are hidden treasure chests and other things that can lead to a lot of money. 
Otherwise, you can just follow Ilya straight through and the quest is done in about seven minutes. But take your time and search. Again, she will wait for you. And cast candlelight a lot. Did you hear something? <gasps> Okay, you've beat the first creatures. Ilya runs past you real quick. Like I said, cast candlelight a lot. Now, you want to take a look around here, and you're going to miss things. Like, first is some imp stool here, which is actually good for, again, alchemy purposes. If you want to pick up other stuff. But you look around here, again, there's not a lot. But be careful. You're going to pass some stuff by. This next room this you enter place. into, you take down the other magic user real quick. And again, there is potions and a hidden chest. I take the robes from the magic users. They're cheap, easy to carry. You look around the shelves here. Ah, wait, hidden chest. If you follow Ilya and kept running quickly you would miss a lot of things here now there's the arcanum or not the there's the alchemy table and then there's potions here and you check the end table yeah nothing there recast alteration candlelight arm my weapon back up and i see a soul gem but eh, I'll pass it by and follow Ilya up here to this next level now right here is something interesting and I'm going to preface it well actually we gotta beat up these bad guys here but again you don't want Ilya dictating the speed of this mission you want to get back into this room. Now, search the troll. Search the other witch. Again, I take the robes. They're easy to carry. Ilya will head one direction. You head up these stairs. And the interesting part is you will have to go through this area, but Ilya is going to take you a roundabout way. I'm going to get rid of the gloves. And you see these iron grates. I'm gonna check here, but those iron grates won't open. And so, you know, you might wind up. I'm casting candlelight again. There's some treasure over by this trap door. Just don't step on that button, which is obvious. And I'm gonna take the soul gem and the elixir. Search the cupboard. Nothing really here. There's this bowl over here. There's a few minor ingredients and a skeever head. Yeah, th these people who are witches and forsworn, a little sick in the head. But, again, another candlelight. Don't let Ilya dictate things. Just follow at your pace and search at your pace. She will wait. Now, I mentioned these iron grates here on the second level, and they do not have any levers to open them because, again, Ilya is going to take you through this roundabout way, and I'm, yeah wandering around here but there's this iron grate again Ilya is going to take you a roundabout way don't let her dictate and this is where I think the interesting part is right here there's some webbing if you follow Ilya you're going to miss this you open up this treasure chest you get some gold 
But then over here, on the next round, you see a wooden door which you need a key to unlock. You can't pick the lock. I'll explain how you can get into this wooden door at the end of the game. It's really easy. Follow Ilya and again, move at your own pace, searching shelves and other things. Aether War, I already did that. Um, some leather strips, those are good. You know, if you had kids, wooden sword would be good. But again, there's not a lot here, but still search around at your own pace. And I'm going to let this go through because these iron grates that I showed you just recently, you pull this lever down and again, you go right past the area you already explored. Just fought the Hag Raven and a Skeever. Ilya took something else down. You want to explore this area. There is a lot of interesting stuff. First, the Hag Raven herself has a lot of ingredients on her. And in the corner, there's this treasure chest, gold, arrows, an amulet. Check the table. Hag Raven claws. A skill book which raises illusion up. Take the claws. Uh, just a knife. Nothing else. Dead heads. There is a soul gem. Take that. It's charged. You want to take some shrooms? Go ahead. Uh, again, just kind of walk around the room and search. Dead pheasant. Uh, there's pretty, mu pretty much not a lot, but you can miss some things. And... Again, don't rush through this mission. Move at your own pace and make Ilya wait. Now, into the dark light chambers. To be honest with you, Ilya is a pretty good magic user to have with you, and she might not be a bad companion to take up. I mean, she's kind of ruthless. While you're taking down this witch really easily, and again, it's just, I recommend using electricity on your weapons in order to fight magic users because you take down their magic. And I'm going to search this one and look around here. What happened to the other? Uh, no, I don't want to leave, so I'm just going to go back up here. And yeah, there's the one Ilya took down. She's very powerful with her ice spikes and stuff and she's really good now this room there is a lot of spikes and kind of interesting you see that passage there that's going to be useful um Ilya is going to wait at this door it's locked damn uh, i probably could easily pick it but i'm key. not you'll have to take it from here I'll keep watch here, unless you can pick the lock. The passage I showed you leads into another room, and, uh, yeah, a hag raven and a witch attack you. Take your time exploring this room. The Hag Raven has the key you need, but then there are some other things around here. I'm going to go back to uh, investigate here. And there is this hag. Take the robe, it's cheap. There is this chest, but there is a master chest as well. 
and you got to go up these stairs and there's your master chest unlock it again I could pick any lock I kind of have my lock picking skills artificially high but that's fine there was a dwarven shield in there and some other really nice stuff um Nope, I got nothing I can drop and leave here that I don't care to carry except this ruined book I accidentally grabbed. So I'll just leave it here. There are potions here. And I'm going to switch the first person view. Collect these per... Well, open the cupboard again. Search the cupboard again. Grab the potions. And now I'm going to walk over to the other level and again you want to take your time search around there's hidden chests make Ilya wait you don't have to get this mission done there's no time limit and so take your time and search Going to check out the arcane enchanter here it's always good when there's one around you want to check your weapons out or anything like that um, I'm gonna add fear and banish to this dagger raises the price up even with a very cheap petty soul gem now you can if you got soul gems and weapons and other things and there's an enchanter again enchant because it raises the value of the weapons and also disenchant you might destroy the article but the heck with it you get another enchantment you can add now i'm following Ilya through gotta recast candlelight it's annoying but hey you stumble around in the dark enough now Ilya's battling a troll take him out again she casts different armors and other things and she's pursuing this woman um, let her fight search around here again Ilya is pretty ruthless you won't get the best of me you're pathetic <laughs>
mother is just outside this door. I'll present you as the sacrifice. Just play along. While mother begins the ritual, I'll strike. Then together we can... We can kill her. I've thought this through, and it's the only way. She's too far gone, too corrupted by the hags. At least in death, she can be free again. Enough. Let's go. That would be a great time to take some healing potions if you need them. Ilya is going to present you as the sacrifice to her mother. And if you're not armored up or healthed up, um, it can get pretty violent. And so what I can say is make sure you take some health potions and you're fully healed up. And before you go through with the whole situation, um, if you got some magic resistance, use it. My character happens to be very powerful at this point, so there shouldn't be any problem. I'm not going to go back. I'm going to walk up here, and uh, there's Ilya's mother, and there's Ilya. And she's just kind of standing there. Uh, hey, uh, Ilya, I want to get this over with. What's going on here? Um, yeah, she's busy. Oh, yeah, now she's starting to walk. Let's get going. Greetings, Mother. Daughter, who is this you have brought me? I found a willing subject for you. Payment has already been discussed, of course. Splendid. Please, take a seat on the chair behind me, would you? I'll just prepare the subject now. I can't let you do this, Mother. You have to die now. Need something? Don't be sorry for me. Keep Mother's staff. Think of it as payment. I want to leave everything from this cursed place behind. Goodbye. And thank you. Yeah, Ilya's blasting her mother, and uh, you're getting cut up. But take that hag raven, whatever staff. This chest doesn't have a lot in it. It's kind of a bummer. But I'm going to take everything Don't in it. Ilya does I not just... leave right away, which is good because I'm going to explain to you instructions raised up on how you can get the key to unlock that door. It's in mm -hmm. Ilya's inventory. And you say you could come with me? I suppose it would be better than sitting around thinking about all this. I could also do some good for a change. Sure, I'd go with you. Follow me, Lead I need way. your help. I've got your back. Wait, you ask her to what do you want me to carry? Things, and there's the dark light tower closet key. Okay, you made Ilya your fo follower, and you took the key from her. Now you dismiss her, and I'll head back you home part ways with me. her, and it's over. She moves on. And you go back to get what's in the closet. I just edited out the journey back because it's repetitive and redundant. Now you have the key to the closet. You open it up. There's some barrels here. Uh, let's see. One is empty. This one has apples. What does the other one have? Tomatoes. Well, now there's this covered with potions they're really nice potions you can use them or sell them uh, just basic stuff search the cupboard nothing there on the shelves here there's just plates wooden plates and bowls useless to carry now I'm gonna cut to the second mission of this video which you have to exit out the back of 
the Dark Light Tower where you had left Ilya because it's the only really easy way to get to the next mission. Now I'm going to cut to that. Thanks to the magic of editing, we're back outside Dark Light Tower. Now, if you... Ilya has left, but if you go to the back here, there is an iron grate, and you lower it down, and you gotta walk all the way up here, all the way up toward this kind of path area, and you follow it a little bit. Take a look here, there's Dark Light Tower, but you go around and you head all the way back, back, back to this area and you see the snow line and you follow this area in the snow line and you see this kind of path here and you just keep kind of walking with the mountains to your right. And you notice that there is this, again, path. And you follow it. I'm going to run a little bit. Jog. It leads to some runes. If you see on the map bar, there is some a rune indicator. And these runes are just a small dwarven rune, but a mother of wisps and her little willow of wisps are here. I'm going to have to battle them. And the runes are... Let's see if I can get them activated here. Runes of Lude Discovery. And again, you got to Willow of Wisps and stuff. Mother of Wisps. But this is the only way you can kind of easily get to these runes is through the Dark Light Tower, and it's really actually, you can get some really good stuff. The mother is attacking you, and so, yeah, blast her with shout, stunner, just jump on the wisp of the mother. She goes down, everyone else goes down, check the ash pile here. Glow dust, wisp wrappings, again, alchemy ingredients, you can use them. And I'll show you on the map here where these runes are located. Of course, I'm going to check out some things here. There's these witches. They were obviously killed by the mother of wisps while trying to perform a ritual of some sorts. There's some Dwarven junk, which is good. Again, I'm going to take the robes and go up here to... There's a chest up here right in the... Right in this area. And it actually can contain some decent stuff. Diamond, gold, potion. Again, magical weapons and armor. And over here, I'm going to take a look around. But the only way you can really get to these ruins without having to climb over mountains is via the Dark Light Tower. And again, I'm going to show you here on the map now. These are the ruins right here. And you go through Dark Light Tower to get to them. Otherwise, you can't get through from Crystal Drift Cave kind of have to jump up mountains. I'm going to show you the way down as I talk. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment here. Thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to visit my website and see uh, the Teen Spider Adventures comic that I post every Sunday. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. It's the only way that I can try and monetize or make some money here. And hold on, there is a conundrum. Got to kind of mine this with the pickaxe. And hey, 
its form. And this is all good for building a house. And again, I'm Brad, proprietor of Bar School Entertainment. I'm not making much sense anymore, but thanks for stopping by.